joining me. These YouTube clips are a labor of love, and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do making them. The purpose is to help open up some doors, educate, but if they don't resonate with you, let them go and move on to the next. I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Another question, and this one is from Monica. Carolyn, you mentioned we choose our soul groups. What if someone has more than one spouse in their life? Are both spouses their soulmates? And we will all end up together on the other side. I believe that people who have more than one spouse, for whatever reason, it's, they're part of the soul group. And each spouse brings to the table a different set of um, opportunities to progress our soul. We don't have the same kind of connection, like intimate connection, that, they, that we do here on the earth plane. We have a loving, familial connection on the other side. And on the other side, what we do is we decide who's best in the soul group to help someone to progress. So we choose different husbands or wives or whatever to help with that. We don't lose the first husband um, in the soul group just because we move to a, another um, partner. Okay, it, Everybody is still connected. If we're living a great life now, can our next life be terrible? Could, we, could our next lives be a sort of regression, like poverty? I first of all want to say unequivocally that we are in control of the type of life we choose to live. I heard a story about a woman who found out she had lived the life in a harem. Everything was given to her. She had no need to make decisions. Decisions were made for her. And she came back to her life in the spirit world saying that was a totally wasted time because I didn't have a chance to progress my soul. So if we decide that we need to experience what poverty is and maybe rise up from it or live in poverty to help others within that community, that is soul progression. Remember, we choose, in the end, how we live our lives. Nobody does that for us. So if there are people in poverty now, they could very well be the next King of England because they need to experience something different in a different lifestyle. This is totally up to you. Mm -hmm.